there's been quite a lot of discussion on my previous video about the bridge example I gave about natural selection being the sort of mechanism and universal common ancestry of the tree of life being the history and these two being connected like uh, basically foundations and a bridge so the actual you know beam if you like that's natural selection or the mechanism or you know human chimpanzee tree or the tree of life or some trajection from a to z and the actual foundations is actually the uh, history now what's important about this is that some people misunderstand this to say that no 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 these two things are completely independent and that even if there is no mechanism even if natural selection is false the history is still true now this is a complete misunderstanding for the simple reason This is a complete misunderstanding, completely false. <laughs> so if natural selection is shown to be insufficient as a mechanism when it comes to human beings or when it comes to any other species, essentially what happens to the entire idea of the tree of life is that it also gets challenge this is the most fundamental assumption okay go ahead and this is the one that's most challenged go on from to get from a to z we need a mechanism right and that's natural selection right if the mechanism fails the history fails but if the mechanism is questionable then the history is questionable Th this is a mainstream thing which is understood in evolutionary right. biology The Dunningham-Kruger effect. 